Hello everyone, my name is Mike Troyan and I'm the Director of Sales for Ally Vision Technologies in North America. Today is May 2012 and we're speaking to you from the Vision Show in Boston, highlighting some of our new gigabit Ethernet cameras, both the Mantha and the GT series, as well as some demonstrations of new technology that we have. To start off and highlight the Mantis series, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what cameras we've added to our family. We've added a dual tap series of Manta cameras that range from 1 over 1.8 imager at 2.8 megapixels out to a 9 megapixel imager that runs at 10 frames per second. Some of the exciting things about the different cameras in the Manta series that were not available two, to two years ago from us is not only the dual tap, mo the dual tap models but also the power over Ethernet and lookup tables. We've added three lookup tables to the Mantha series since that time. And we are soon to add IEEE 1588, which will allow for synchronization of all of these cameras. One other family member that is not of the CCD technology that we have recently added is a CMOSIS based imager at 2 megapixels, so it's 2000 by 1000 resolution at 60 frames per second. To switch it up and talk a little bit about more of our industrial and outdoor imaging series, I'd like to highlight some of the GT cameras that we've introduced this year. Uh, we now have a 29 megapixel GT camera, which is based on a 35 millimeter format that runs at four frames per second, as well as the CMOSIS version in both two and four megapixels at 60 and 30 frames per second, uh, respectively, and an eight megapixel version based on the former Kodak, now TrueSense based imager that is 15 frames per second and with an F-mount lens on it. Now after speaking shortly about these cameras, I'd like to take you over and introduce you to a few of our demonstrations and some of the cameras that we're deploying at this show. First demonstration I'd like to speak to you about today involves the Manta 145 BNIR as well as the GT1290. Uh, one of the interesting things about this application is that it demonstrates the three different modes that the Manta 145B has in it which would be a standard mode, a near IR enhanced mode for fast speed at 17 frames per second, and a near, near IR enhanced mode with quality uh, for 15 frames per second. The reason for the quality enhancement for the middle mode of the Manta 145B and IR is to suppress any blooming that you might see when you make certain electronic changes to a camera to make it very receptive in the 700 to 900 nanometer range. We're actually able to get triple the quantum efficiency between 700 and 900 nanometers by making these changes, making it a very exciting product for the life sciences market. Looking now onto the, the GT1290, we're exhibiting the P-Iris here, and we're the first ones in the industry to come out with a P-Iris based camera, which allows for precision stepping of the, of the lens iris to certain locations. Unlike a DCR, DC or video auto iris, this allows for you to step away from your application and come back to it later and the position does not drift of the iris lens, making it great for images that have longer lag times or many different things coming in and out of your DSP subregion. We're actually defining where you want your iris to be set at. Our final demonstration will exhibit our big eye P283 camera as well as our GT 1920 camera, which both exhibit the ICX 19 or ICX 674 sensor. But the major difference here is that with the GT camera, we just have an uncooled version of the sensor, which really is good for 10 microseconds out to about half a second exposure time. Once you get to a one second exposure time, the first thing you'll notice is that the big eye with its Peltier single stage cooled device will allow you for much longer exposure times with much lower read noise. And this is really exciting for whenever that you're in a microscopy application and you need to expose for one second, or in an astronomy application when you expose out to 10 seconds. I'm not quite sure if you can see it on the screen, but the top image has a lot more noise to it than the bottom image, and this is because of the uh, non-exposed or the non-cooled device of the GT series. So I hope you've learned something new about Allied Vision Technologies today. And please visit us on our website at www.alliedvisiontech.com. Thank you.